Hello, hello. It is Sunday. Been kind of tooling around in my craft room, so I got lots of stuff in front of me and in my way. Um, working on these um, pockets made out of book pages. Um, so they kind of they fold, fold, and then you fold the little flappy up, and then you have a, a little pocket here. Um, I cut pictures out of a book, and so I had a bunch of book pages left. Um, so I have all these pockets that I'm doing. I also have paper drying behind me that I coffee dyed. So that project's going. I can figure out where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put piles of stuff. Let's <laughs> get it out of my way. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I still don't have room for all of my my stuff. Um, plus, I'm still working on this project so that's kind of off over there in the corner trying to stay out of the way as much as possible but you know there's only so much space to be had and I'm out of it <laughs> <coughs> but I have this pile that is approximately maybe 11 inches tall over here to my left that I'm going to um, try to sort through today with you guys. You'll get to see kind of a little bit of what my stash, my quote cut stash looks like. I'm going to try to um, create them into piles that I can then put away. Put away put anything away? Do I put anything away in my craft room? <coughs> so I have a zipper. I cut it off a plastic bag. Um, they're kind of like, um, comforters that, that vinyl-y plastic cut the zipper off. Um, the vinyl is over there on my shelves and it is cut up into strips um i'll be making pockets out of those can't show you those on a video because i have to have my sewing machine out and uh, my sewing machine would be like right here <laughs> so <clears throat> i have another pocket this is a template of a pocket that I made. So if you pretend this is a page, you glue it down one, two, three sides. You have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket right here. Great sport little pockets. Thank you, Pam at the Paper Outpost. So this is my template so I don't forget how to make it. Let me make in a bunch of those too because I have book pages galore. Trying to keep stuff pushed back there. Doing pretty good. Got my appointment on Wednesday next week. Hopefully I can get these stitches out. Because quite frankly, they're driving me bananas. Banana bananas. Um, so this was a project I started and never finished. These are um, tear-offs from a scrapbook. From scrapbook paper. Uh, I started painting them, like splatter painting them, and uh, yeah, never finished it. So I'm gonna put that over here in my to do box. You know what I just realized is I did not take my meds this morning. These are copyright free pictures that I pulled off the interwebs of Victorian ladies. I printed them in black and white. Well, I downsized them first, printed them in black and white, and I've also coffee stained them or tea stained them. 
smells like maybe tea. It's not strong. I don't think it's strong enough to be coffee. <coughs> so I do have a section just for images over there. Uh -huh. An envelope full of die cuts. Corners. So these are corners and then doilies. Those, should, those need to be filed over there with my die cuts. <laughs> my color wheel. I'm put that up. I need to post that somewhere. Okay, let's bring this pile over. And I managed to cut my finger somehow today. So I do have um, this big old thing of brown paper. <coughs> which I'll be using to make um, some tags with courtesy of Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I'm gonna use these papers as um, backing. So I will stick this paper to the backs of these and then decorate them up as tags. So that is also a project that I have started and uh, yeah, I've started it. <laughs> Sewing paper, do I have any more of that in this pile? I do. More brown paper. This is textured though. Um, I don't think it would maintain the texture if I glued it down. I was thinking about the tags. Uh, if you can see the texture on it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. Some coffee dyed paper. Scrapbook paper. More coffee dyed paper. Some more of those ladies. Coffee dyed, coffee dyed, coffee dyed. This is. Stick these with Im the images. That's a cross stitch thing. We'll just set that aside. No idea what I'm going to do with that brown paper. <clears throat> I have to think about it. <clears throat> this is a big envelope of Norman Rockwell pictures that I took from a, harvested from a book. Big pictures, little pictures. Some are these little minuscule people. I was going to like trim them out. I have not gotten around to it yet. So stick those with images. I bet how long it's going to take me before I knock these off the <clears throat> off my desk. Fabric. Um, this is the stretchy part off a dress. My daughter made a um, journal cover out of this fabric. Left the the ruching behind, which I. We'll use as a journal on a journal cover. Tags, gems. Also going to be doing a, um, a little challenge. One of the group, my Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, she had, ouch.
Settings. Is the mic still working? Yes, the mic is still working. Working on it, guys. Somehow or another, my camera got disconnected. All right. I have no idea how my camera got disconnected. Just looked up and it said, hello, your camera is disconnected. Um, so this is random rice paper. Um, I got these from um, a round robin crafting box that I participated in. Um, this time last year, actually, I got all of these papers out of that box. I think that was the only thing I took that round, actually. TTT, empty tray. Empty tray. I like things that are empty. Put the paper with there. See, I was in the middle of figuring all this out when I looked up and... Um, so this is a woven tag made by myself or my child, not sure which. Those are images, they'll stay over there. Put those there. Garbage tag. Volkswagen Motorsport. These are light up um, crochet hooks. <coughs> it has a USB charging, chargeable cord. I no longer crochet. And I never really liked these ones. Um, I could not get along with them. So if I'm gonna if my daughter wants them, then she can have them. Otherwise, um, I will donate them somewhere. So that's medical records. I'll put those up there for right now. Um, pattern, more cross stitch. Where did I do with that other one? Oh, up there. These can be used as card bases. So I'm gonna put that in with my construction paper. Um, what was this for? Folio. This was for a folio. 
but goes with my templates and patterns. <coughs> More imagery taken from books. Come on. Cooperate with me already. Images. Ziploc bag of Ziploc bags. Whoa. Got a leaning leaning tower going on. <clears throat> so this is um, this is the kind of paper that is on like um, the tables at doctor's offices. I got it from a massage parlor um, and it is coffee stained already. that with my tissue papery stuff oh here's a pocket that I made so there's a pocket there and a pocket here and then you can, it's made out of an envelope is there a pocket on top Um, so when you glue it in, you can glue it either here, here, and here, make a top pocket, or go do do do, make it a side pocket, or this way side pocket, depending on which side of which page you put it on. So that goes over across the room with my pockets, spare tag, somehow or another got mixed into stuff, scrap of paper, paper. This goes right there. That is a glue page folded in half um, to make it doubled. And then you can, I use it for tags or journaling card bases. This is a cross stitch thread color guide. I that was my cross stitch threads. Paper doilies, they have their own spot. In a box behind me. <clears throat> so yeah, some of this stuff I will just throw away as it comes across because it just um, ended up in the pile rather than the garbage so this was left whoo, left over from a journal that i did this is printed on regular coffee paper i backed it with other paper just to give it some strength and it'll be a can be used as a, a corner pocket this was a cutoff from another project so that's going in with the scrapbooking papers and stuff. Okay, and this can be thrown away. All this extra paper. Another one of these book pages fold in half. Paper, 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 paper. More tissue paper. Get out of the way. That doesn't belong in there. Spare lace. Not really in frame, now am I? Again, same thing. Printed on coffee paper, but backed with other paper to give it some strength. This is um, <clears throat> scrap scrapbook paper that's been painted with white gesso. Um, 
This is napkin over the top and probably inks, like um, distress inks would be my guess. It's been a while since I've made that. <coughs> What's left of the sheet of a music note that's already been dyed. What's left of a doily that's already been dyed. She don't throw those things away. Nope, not in this world. Um, die cuts and stuff that I need to cut out. For now, I'm going to put them with image the image pile. My pile is trying to avalanche on me again. Oop, missed the garbage. Come here, pile. Ugh. Fancy paper scrap pack. Oh, so that's more rice paper. Let's see. Let's... Look page. I'm going to put that up there because I can use that on my challenge. Uh, sticker paper. I got another pile of that going back there. Envelope. I'll throw that away. Let's see. I don't know what that is. Okay. I'm going to throw that sticker paper away and that coffee dyed strip goes in the box behind me. Right, this is all bubble painted paper that my grandkids and I did. So you take um, water, dish soap, put a little bit of paint in there, mix it up and with a straw, you blow bubbles. And then as it rises above the, um, the lip, then you just touch the paper down. And it gives you bubble prints. So that's going to go in the paper pile. That's the paper pile. <clears throat> paper, paper, paper. Another strip. Garbage. <laughs> now, some uh, uh, crafters that have been in this longer than I probably look at some of this stuff and go, no, don't throw that away. Um, but I've got more than I know what to do with right now. And Honestly, <laughs> I can't keep it all. She is sticker paper. Put that in its own box. It's got its own spot. So, paper, paper, paper. Strip. This can be used as a base for a tag. I'm going to put that in there. I didn't realize I still had any of this paper. This paper bleeds really well um, for dyeing paper. So dyeing white paper, so does this purple. Um, so like layering white paper in between like two sheets of this pink, getting it wet and letting the dye go off onto the paper. It dyes really well. I didn't realize I had any more of that fuchsia stuff. Hard stop. Pink. More paper. Don't know what I'm going to do with that either. This is coffee dyed uh, waste canvas. 
usually use this in cross stitching. I coffee dye it and use it um, as page as a page in journals. Page of lines. Okay. Little baby envelopes. I have some of those in there already. adhered. Not sure if my die cut will go through those. I tried once before, that's why I have it. But coffee dyed manila folder. I just realized I'm like way way out there and barely on screen. This is um Tissue paper? I think it was tissue paper. Put glue down on a plastic bag or some sort of some sort of plastic. And then um, put the napkin down. It was a napkin, it wasn't a tissue. And then you kind of paint over it again and um, let it dry. And when you peel it off. It gives you a nice crispy little thing. When you do that with pattern paper, my daughter says that it looks like skin. So we kind of did a play one time and um, we stamped on it first to make it like tattoos before doing it. And that was kind of cool. Um, this is vinyl that I was supposed to cut stuff out of <laughs> for a journal that I made for myself, but my daughter-in-law bound for me. Uh, these are labels. They've been dyed with onion, onion skin water. Put in that pile. These can go in the garbage. These were used for dyeing paper making white paper into a different color. White envelopes. Ooh, that one doesn't feel empty. A little card in there. So these have a spot over on my shelf. Get to the loose stuff underneath. I have a file folder over here of stuff. So it's all paper, 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 paper. And this kind of makes sense. I mean, paper is at the crux of um, what I do in making journals. So it kind of makes sense that I've got a ton of paper in here. I'm just not good at putting it away when I'm done with it. Hence the big mess. Paper, more images. These are images that'll need to be cut out. I know what that pile is. That needs to be the fussy cutting. Paper. Paper, images, it sounds like my husband is home. This is what that stuff's supposed to look like. When it's all finished. Sewing kit.
cause. Get up, close the doors. Apparently when I spun my chair, I knocked everything over. This is a, an envelope full of recipes. I did put a post out onto one of um, my groups on Facebook for junk journaling. To see if anybody was doing a recipe book. Otherwise, I was going to throw them away. I haven't heard from anybody yet. So this is more pages that are glued. Okay. More scraps. Put those in the strippy box. More paper to file away. On the shelf where it belongs. This is left over from Shabby Dabby Doodah's kit that I used on a journal. Bunch of leftovers. Oh, okay. That's what a lot of this is, is left over from the kits that I was using. I, just need to, I need to file those. This can go on the shelf. That can go on the scraps. It's filed, filed, scraps. Yeah, I'm just going to throw this away. Again, corner pocket with a tear versus a cut. Scrap for die cutting. Half a doily. It's a scrap. These. Woo. Besides the ones that I just dropped, I need to go right there because those go into a separate spot. And then Manila folder also goes back there. Well, that's a quick little sort. So what I have is um, images. I know where I'm going to put those. 
I have a stack of tissue papers. I have a spot over there. Over there. <laughs> a stack of stack of paper that all needs to be put away again over there and then leftovers from the last kits that I was using um, and over there is a folder to put them in so <coughs> with that once I get all this put away I have a little bit more room on my desk to actually do stuff without things falling over. Go figure. I might actually not have a craft a lunch. <laughs> <coughs> so that was just 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 a bit of it. Just a short and sweet little video. Um, currently trying to find the mouse to my laptop. There we go, because it's not a touch screen. Um, so hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to share with anybody you think that might be interested and like my content. Thanks, everybody. Bye.